Right, I am live again. Hi everyone. Um, this is me Priyanka. Welcome to Supra Chat Live with Pri. First of all, thank you so much for giving us so much of love and support. And today I have a very, very, very special guest. I have with me Miss Supra National 2018 Valeria. And I'm actually waiting for her to join in. Hello everyone. Sending you a lot of love and support. Like I understand that this is a difficult time, but please take care of yourself. Or take care of I'm waiting for Valeria to please join in. Hi! Oh. <laughs> How are you, Valeria? I'm fine. It's nice to finally meet you, like, a little bit face-to-face, -face, even though it's virtual, you know. I've heard so much about you, and thanks for all, thanks for all the work you did while we were um, working with Supra, well, while I was working with Supra this past December. All right. I'm so excited to actually interview you today, and so many people have sent love to you. If you can just wave to everyone watching you live right now. Of course. Hi, everyone. Good morning from my part of the world. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, I understand it's 10.30 there in Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, but I've been okay. going to bed very late. I've been studying. But anyway, so hello to everyone. Good morning, good evening, good night to everyone that's watching from all over the world. <laughs> all right, first of all, I want to ask you, how are you doing? I know this is an extremely difficult time. So how is everything back home? So back home, I think we have the most, since we are part of the U.S., we're a territory of the U.S., yes. um, so far, I think we are the strictest one um, when, when, when it comes to rules. We, as soon as one case came up in the island, everything went on quarantine. Um, school has been online. Most of works have been online, too. Um, only the things that are available, like you can go out during the day, but the only things available for you to go out is the supermarket, the pharmacies, and pretty much like everything that's essential, like hospitals and, and, and gas stations too. Um, okay. And we also have like a curfew. So I have to get home. If I'm out, I have to get home by 7 and cannot go out in, at night until 5 a.m. Um, so pretty much a lot of rules been put up together. Your family is doing great. Your family is everybody back yeah. home. Yeah, so far everything's just everything's great, and when it comes to my family, so I'm I'm thankful for that. How about you? How's everything over there? <laughs> All good here as of now. Things are pretty controlled because our government has announced lockdown, 21 days lockdown. So I haven't really stepped out of my house, but uh, it's a good time to actually spend with our family members and everything. So I think this is the best time. My next question is about that only. How are you spending your quarantine? And, you know, right now people are so bored. So if you can just advise them what they can do during this quarantine period and how are you spending, first of all? Well, I don't have time to get bored because <laughs> I'm still studying. <laughs> yes. Um, so I pretty much study from uh, Monday through Friday. And if I have something for like the upcoming week, um, I study for it too on the weekend. But when I have free time, I am pretty much just doing Netflix, um, eating just like everyone else. <laughs> um, trying to do my exercises because I need to anyway stay um, in shape. And um, I think pretty much that. I mean, I really have no time to get bored. <laughs> School's been keeping me busy. It is actually keeping. Now, I also read in one of your interviews that you were kind of giving up studying medical technology and something happened that, you know, you actually waited for it. Hello? Are you there? Yeah. Can you show me? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, I actually read in one of your interviews uh, that, you know, you were deciding to quit your studies. Oh, this is cutting off. But wait, wait. something. All right. What happens if I just use... Are you getting some call or something? Okay. Okay, now. All right, perfect. Now, I read in one of the interviews that, you know, you that you were planning to quit your studies uh, as a student of medical technology. Now, I want to know something changed your mind. So what was it that changed your mind and you took up the, uh, your studies once again? Um. Oh, okay. You mean like a... Wait, I am confused. <laughs> so, 
pretty much. Um, I've been studying yeah medical technology um before Supra and for Supra yes. I had to take a break on it, but I came back to it because of course like I need to finish my studies. Um, it's something that I like and it's something that um it'll always be there for me. Um, no matter if I decide to take on another another path when I'm done, which is something that I'm thinking of, but <laughs> um. <laughs> But still, like, it's something that I like. It's something that is interesting for me. And uh, I just needed to finish it. All right. I'll quickly read some of the comments because so many people are showering. So much of love to you. Um, Puchri update says, hi, Valeria. Love from Indonesia. Hi. So many love. So many fans from Indonesia. Yes. It's night there, right? It's night in Indonesia now. Yeah. Selamat so, malam. <laughs> Tell me something about your Indonesian trip because I am like I was actually speaking uh, to Antonia a few days back, and she said when she wore that kabaya, she was under the impression that she won't cry, but it was you who said that you know you are going to cry, and she literally cried. So how was your experience wearing kabaya when you so, actually attended Putri Indonesia? So the whole experience in Putri Indonesia was amazing, and everyone there was like super hard work, uh, hard welcoming. Warm, welcoming. I am <laughs> still I am people. <laughs> um, but um, the thing that got me to cry while I was wearing it was because when I saw myself in the kebaya, I knew about the kebaya tradition and like how the reigning queens from Grand Slam pageants um, wore it during uh -huh. the event. So when I saw myself with it, it was like a realizing moment for me. Like. Yours, Miss Supernational. Yes, you won our Grand Slam pageant, and yes, you're in Indonesia. Who who would expect this like three months ago? Um, and not only that, you're there with Miss Universe and Miss International, because yes. you're a Grand Slam queen. <laughs> so um, that's why I started to cry because it was like it was beautiful. It was made for me just for the occasion and like the whole thing about it, uh, like the the tradition. So pretty much that. It was a realizing moment. Okay. Um, Mohammed says hello from Malaysia. Hi. I see so many people saying up comments. <laughs> yes, yeah, so much, so much love coming from Indonesia. If you guys have any questions, please ask. I would be asking your questions during the live as well. Um, I'll quickly go to some of the questions that came for you, Valeria. Now, who is your biggest inspiration people want to know who is your biggest inspiration because i understand you are a very inspirational figure for people but who is that person that inspires you um i think it depends i mean there is a lot of people depending on the areas that could inspire me or maybe like i can get something from them but there is not like just one person um, okay. I can tell you, for example, I love the work that I actually put this on my form for Miss Supernational. Um, I love the work that a uh, comedian here does. Um, L um, well, in US, um, she's Ellen DeGeneres, <laughs> um, and I love her work. I love how she works with charity and like how she like helps out people sometimes and like randomly gives them whatever they need. It helps out schools and all of that. So, um, uh -huh. but. I think it just depends, like, in, ter in the term that we're speaking of. Uh, there's not just one person that inspires me to do something. Okay. Uh, now, uh, do you remember any fun incident or moment during your journey as Miss Supernatural? I have seen a lot of videos of you and Andre having lots of fun, and I'm sure there are so many moments. So you have to share one fun moment with us. Um, I can share a fun moment, but embarrassing at the same time. <laughs> okay. I remember this the other day. Um, I did the stupidest thing. Um, <laughs> so when we arrived to Netherlands, yes, it was Netherlands. So the whole trip in Europe, if Andre is watching this, he's probably laughing already. Um, so the whole trip um, in Europe was like five countries in like one month. And uh -huh. we arrived to Netherlands. I was kind of like confused with all the schedules. I was like, where are we going? Where are we now? And like, but in my head, I knew we were in Netherlands, but for some freaking reason, I told them when I arrived, like, they were like, oh, how are you? Um, Stefan <laughs> and Robbins, how are you? And how are, how's everything going? Da, da, da. And I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to try. <laughs> I cannot try to, I cannot wait to try the waffles. Like, you know, 
like Belgian waffles. I was thinking about Belgian waffles. <laughs> That must have been embarrassing. Oh my god, they started laughing and like they could not uh stop making jokes about that throughout my whole trip there. I was like, okay, enough about it already. Enough. <laughs> it was a, a moment of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also you recently passed on your crown to Antonia. So I want to go back to that time and I want I want to ask you what was going on in your mind when you were passing on that crown to Antonia? Um I was very happy cuz I knew the work that she did and I knew that she was deserving of the crown. Um so Definitely. I was happy to have a deserving queen. <laughs> um but I was mostly thinking about how like a chapter ends. Um yeah. and I I don't know, I just felt happy but at the same time I was sad. Um but pretty much sad. I mean and i tried during rehearsals i do it i did the whole walk and everything and like um crowning a, a successor um as rehearse but still like I, i i managed at least to hold my tears you know <laughs> but it was a it's a it was a bittersweet feeling for sure very emotional i must say you had a beautiful train uh, to be very honest valeria you traveled to so many countries so what was your experience traveling to so many different countries and continents Definitely I could say that the best thing about this whole year is the fact that yeah. I am not the same person that um started the year. I learned a lot. Um definitely traveling makes one grow. Um meeting Definitely. different cultures, meeting different people. Um and I think that's the best thing about everything. Um and uh that's the, the that's the thing I loved about it. Um the fact that I am a more developed more mature um or different valeria now okay oh, so i'm sure you have grown as a person as well so what was the biggest change in you post be crowned as supernational the biggest change post being crowned yes getting back to study and and no sleep and sleep <laughs> sleepless nights <laughs> i can understand getting back All right. to study okay and having sleepless nights but you i'm sure you had a beautiful reign so did you ever miss your studies during your reign were you like were your studies on your mind while you were traveling actually yes like some of the times when i was at home i would be thinking like okay so i'm not doing anything i'm not traveling why aren't i studying but then i was like <laughs> of course i can't <laughs> All right. Now, will you be a lot of youngsters are actually following the supernational page and they do follow you as well. And you know, we all have certain kind of insecurities while growing up. I want to ask did you also had any kind of insecurities and what exactly helped you come out of it? Because I remember growing up I had a lot of insecurity about maybe my skin color, my weight. So, did you also had any kind of insecurities? I did. Um I used to have a problem um with my height. because i used to be always the tallest one like even okay. like you know how boys develop later on so yes. when i got to high school i was the tallest one in my class and later on they passed me on but um i had an issue with that i used to like shrug in pictures when i was little or um and my dad would and my mom would always be like hitting me on the back like stand straight <laughs> um but um i just overcome all of that while i started modeling actually i started to learn and like love um my height and like um how tall i was and everything so i think modeling is that's one of the reasons i love i love it so much because even though some people think like it can like break you and um, definitely yeah um, in my case it was totally different like it helped me be a better version of myself and love myself even more All right. So anyone who is actually going through any kind of insecurities, look at her Valeria, you know. Um she was Miss Supra in 2018 and even she had insecurities while growing up. So I think it's nothing. I think we all have to be very strong and everyone. deal with it. Yes. Everyone at some point has insecurities, but I mean, it's just yeah. the it's just you have to just ignore them. <laughs> exactly. Ignore it. Um Raghav Magic has a question. What is your favorite memory with Prat Russia in 2018
but sorry it got cut off yeah. favorite memory with prathamesh molinkar with prathamesh hmm yes mm well i think pretty much all the time that we were teaming up against andre <laughs> cuz oh. we were always like when we were <laughs> when we were traveling um usually it would be the three of us sometimes also our boss um gerhard but we always were joking around um fooling around like two little kids you know um and uh, we used we used to like choose teams and change teams sometimes it would be andre and me against him then like uh, okay. like andre against me i think those are the best moments um i could possibly think right now um and i enjoy okay. the most but the message like super fun. did you learn any hindi word did he teach you any hindi word no oh 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 wait and i remember something um we play a game on the phone i haven't played in a while um pubg pubg okay <laughs> believe it or not yes i play that <laughs> okay um, now um you were telling something sorry please go on I and i don't remember if if he taught me any word in hindi did he okay he did i don't remember <laughs> right. it's absolutely fine um i think we go to some of the questions here uh, m budivyu wants to know that you said you love indonesia So what what is it about this country that you love it so much? For for sure the people. Like Indonesian people are like very very like extremely um I am forgetting my words. Um heartwarming and like warm welcoming. They are literally like they live and breathe pageants. <laughs> exactly. Now what was the biggest barrier that you had to overcome during your preparation for Miss Supranational? Do you remember that phase? Do you remember that time? The biggest thing I had to overcome mm, maybe could be when I while I was preparing um it could be the fact that I had to really schedule myself a lot because I was still studying by that time. So I had okay. to like make time not only for studying which is my primarily thing uh but also to train or to get ready or to have this class for makeup or hair so definitely that the fact that I was not able to sleep that much because I was trying to use the most out of my day Okay now we have a question from the reigning Miss Supranational Antonia and she asked how are you so awesome ah! Um I don't know I should ask her the same thing <laughs> Every time she She's very positive picture, yeah. She she really every time she posts the pictures like wow Antonia like really <laughs> um but I think she's amazing too and and I love the fact that even though we're a little bit different cuz I think that maybe I'm a little bit more um out there than she is like when you actually yeah. get to meet her we are very much alike we have the same uh kind of humor and um so it's 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 fun uh, and i love her <laughs> all right now pageant and enthusiast wants to know how to be miss supranational and how is life after being crowned so many people are asking this question how to be miss supranational um, and only so you can to, answer that <laughs> how to be miss supranational well you have to be yourself you have to get ready to like compete in a pageant get ready to not only that work throughout the whole year to get the brand out there and like be the spokesperson of Miss Supernational um and definitely will you have to go through a a national director or a national pageant i guess <laughs> exactly now aman ibrahim are you a political person because this is a question he wants to know what would you do if you were given a chance to be the prime minister oh valeria wow. for the prime prime minister <laughs> um or i should say president Definitely I would involve myself more a little bit more in healthcare and education. I think it's very important to maintain a society and like the whole country in general because as you can see yeah. right now nowadays if you don't support the health system like you get what's happening currently like every health system in the world's not prepared for something like this and they're pretty much crashing. Yes. Um so um pretty much I would just focus myself on that. 
um, both um, health, the healthcare system and education. All right. Well, sir, I quickly take some of the comments, live comments. Uh, uh, Mudi Lugra says, love from Indonesia. Ferro Escondido says, yes. Uh, Ferro Escondido says, God created his best work when it came to you. Wow. He saying you are the best creation of God. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, the Soham Hadki wants to know, did you regret not coming to India? Oh my God, so much. I wanted to go to India so much, but Miss Diva was not done while, while I was uh, Miss Supernational. Yeah. Um, so I was not able to go. Jenny did, Antonia now did. I wanted to go because it would have been awesome just because of like, of course, it's India and everything, but my reigning king, Pratamesh, was from India. So he would yeah. have like outdone himself probably showing us around. Um, but yeah, every day. I was waiting for that call. Like, Valeria, you need to get ready. Next week, you're going to India. We would have loved to see you. And I'm not just saying it for the sake of it. Because some <laughs> people have also written that Pratamesh and you both look great together. <laughs> We actually had the best good-looking like uh, pair, I, I would say. 2018, you and Pratmesh were like awesome together. Thank you. <laughs> maybe someday. Right. Putri... I've, been, I've been speaking with uh, um, Pratmesh about uh, maybe doing a trip or something and like getting the you family back together. <laughs> you would love it. I'm telling you. And you have so many fan, uh, fans from India. They would love to see you and welcome you also. I would love to go actually for the, oh, you guys did this recently, the Holy, Holy Festival? The Holy, yes. The yes, Holy, yes, I, Holy. I've seen that so much like before, even like meeting Tratamesh and like now whenever it comes around, of course I have it on social media, so I see it around, um, but I, I'm dying to go to that. Okay. Uh, Putri Update wants to know, what is your goal in the next five years? Are you a person who thinks about future? Yes, um, yeah, but not so much because I, I don't like to, to like plan myself too much or okay. um, put some certain expectations or something because then like if it doesn't happen, then I get depressed. <laughs> um, but definitely my, my five-year plan would be finish off my studies and try to get into the media industry. Like I want to get a chance to give a chance to TV, commercials, more modeling, stuff okay. like that. So we'll see. All right. Uh, Rushika says, love from India. Would you like to try the food here? Have you heard about Indian food, by the way? I've heard of it, yes. They say it's, a lot. it's very spicy. <laughs> it is very spicy. You don't like spicy food? I, I like it. I am not sure how spicy it would be if I can tolerate it. But I do like it, and I do want to try okay. it. <laughs> okay. Um, how many hours do you work out, or do you to stay fit? How many hours do you work out to stay so fit? Because you're absolutely so fit. This is a question for Pratame. She's even fitter than I am, and he's like a gym freak. <laughs> Um, but definitely, it's not about just like the hours. It's about uh, how many times a, in the week you do it. I try to work out like four or five times a week if I can. Um, and pretty much an hour as minimum, probably. All right. Now, talking about your traveling, you travel to so many countries. So any experience that you would like, like to share with us? Any moment that you remember? I remember a lot of stuff. I mean, of course. <laughs> Um, I did love the, the whole thing about, like I told you, the Putri Indonesia and the, the pageant lovers and how like they really outdo themselves and even go to the hotel to just like give you this little note because they want to show you how much they appreciate you. I think that's amazing. Um, yeah. I loved the trip to South Africa. I was seeing my memories from it these past few days because it was this past days in, in, in last year. Um, and I love the fact that we got so much contact there with nature. Um, the one thing I will never forget is the fact that I got to see like the, the Milky Way, the, like in the sky. Um, it was so okay. dark with no um, electricity nor like contamination that you could actually see that. That was amazing. Yeah. Um, 
what else of course all the work that i did while i was in the different countries i mean it's a lot of things i remember it all <laughs> what about poland in poland i love the fact that poland you experienced the snowfall for the first time i remember yeah. did you experience it for the first time how yeah, was it the first time while i was competing yes i saw the pictures and videos you were like enjoying it totally with andre <laughs> yeah i remember la- like like right. um i saw i saw it for the first time while i was competing and now yeah. when i came back it, the the day that started like really snowing was almost at the end of the pageant and we were in the second hotel by then and i looked at the window and it started snowing and i came out and i was like going to andre's room it's snowing <laughs> And we were you and Andre had out. fun times. Yeah, yeah, you and Andre had fun times. I mean, we loved whatever pictures you used to share or he used to share. It was actually the best time, I would say. Yes, definitely. What do you miss the most about? Yeah, what do you miss the most about Supra family? Because I see so much of love in the Supra national family. So, what is that you miss the most? Definitely. Of course, Andre. be definitely being with them i mean i could not have expect i i mean i did not expect for the organization to be so welcoming um because of yeah. course i mean they go with they go throughout the the years changing queens so you would expect it just to be like just work um but definitely with supra was like totally different um and i love the fact that they were so cool so um heartwarming so welcoming um And so definitely it would be with them like I write to them I write to Andre pretty much every day and like we talk as if I don't even say hello how are you it's like oh remember this like it is like we just start talking like if we were talking 5 minutes ago or we saw each other 5 minutes ago like just like that random um and That's with amazing. their heart too um so definitely I I miss them through out of all the things I could miss from my year is them I'm sure they miss you too. Um, if someone wants to know, is there any funny or unforgettable moment with Supra sisters when you were competing in uh, 2018? Any funny or unforgettable moment? Um. Well, last year in our hotel, we had like a roller coaster thing, um, and I had that on on tape. Um, we got stuck in the roller coaster. um because the girls didn't know that it had like a manual brake thing and like when you got to the top you had to like release the brake so it would go down so there were small carts and when when we all got in there we got up um and as i was going up the machine had to stop because the guy had to go up there because they were all stuck like bumping each other and they were just screaming at the top like ah we need help oh my god what is this ah! <laughs> And so I think <laughs> I think that's one of the funniest things that I remember from that year. You seem to be a prankster. Are you a prankster? No, uh, I mean maybe not a prankster. I don't do that much like pranks. Like I won't be like hiding on the walls and scaring people and stuff just to just to laugh. But for sure I think I'm I'm not comedian but sort of. I mean, I'm funny, I guess. <laughs> You are funny. I must say you are actually funny. Now, Lick Little Choco wants to know who is your favorite Miss Supranational winner, and you have to answer that. Oh, that's so hard because I actually. I know it is. I mean, I cannot pinpoint one just because I have pretty much met them all. Um, because in my year they were exactly. my judges. <laughs> so. Um, Ten. Yeah. Yes, I have met everyone like Asha, Trinity, um Jenny, uh Osana, so like even and of course I crown her. Um I cannot choose one. That's too hard. All right, I could be take some last questions. Uh, Gaurav Bangwal wants to know what is the most important thing in this world that should never change? What oh, according to you is that one thing that should never change? Myself how I am. Definitely. How mm. how open I am, how social I am. Um, I would never want that to change. And actually, the fact that you know how sometimes you change without even knowing. 
Um, so the fact yes. that some people say still today that I am social or like they call me like humble and all of that stuff, which saying it kind of like denies it. But um, so the fact that they comment all those things to me just reminds me of the fact that I am still myself and that the crown or the year as Miss Supernational did not change me, not even without knowing it. Okay, I'll quickly read some of the comments. Uh, Reina's Borikwa says, Hi Valeria, you are the best Miss Supranational. Hi! <laughs> Hola Reina Borikwa! <laughs> um, yes, Mina says, Hi Valeria. Hi! Hi to everyone. Good morning, good evening, good night. <laughs> uh, Soham wants to know, heard of any Bollywood numbers? Have you I've... heard of Bollywood? Of course, everyone knows Bollywood, um, <laughs> but um, I've definitely heard of some, but it's not like I can pinpoint one at the moment. Um, I've seen definitely movies and like videos online. So, yes. <laughs> we would love to see your Bollywood dance on some numbers. Oh, maybe I, you can. <laughs> I, I kind of like joke around sometimes with uh, Pratamesh about that, actually, like the Bollywood numbers, how they say like the changing of the light bulb. <laughs> All right. Noah Goa says, hi, Valeria, we love you. Oh, that's so sweet. Love to all of you. It's so nice and like weird how some people like love you and like share so much of your journey and, and have some some sort of like empathy with you without even knowing you in person. Like it's that's one of the exactly. crazy things, I, I guess. <laughs> all right. All right. Lastly, Valeria, I want to know any message you want to give to everyone watching you live right now and also those who will watch it live late, watch it later. So what message you would want to give to them right now? Well, definitely the most important thing right now would be to stay safe, stay home, wash your hands a lot. Um, I know that some of you probably saw that I was touching my face a lot. I am home. I am disinfected and I haven't gotten out of here. So, um, uh, but still, um, definitely be very careful out there and just use this time as best as possible. Uh, maybe get back to things that you've never done before or like you have put on hold um, and for sure never, never change anything about yourself and love yourself that's one of the things I've said throughout my whole year as Miss Supernational to just be yourself always and love how you are um, so pretty much that all right lastly if you can just say hello to all the pageant lover and if you can just wave goodbye to them before I'll end this live chat of course. So bye-bye, good night, good morning, good evening, whatever part of the world you're at. Thanks for all the love and support that you share, not only for me, but for all of the queens that Miss Supernational has and the pageant itself. Um, so kisses and hugs to all of you. And thank you, Pri, for all of this time. Thank you so much, Valeria. I know it's early morning there, but thank you so much for joining us. And we loved you. We love you. And we will keep on speaking to you. And we'll keep on sending you Bollywood numbers so you can dance on them. I will. I will. And if I get back and meet Pradamesh at some point, we will do a video doing a Bollywood number. I promise. All right. <laughs> Bye, Valeria. Take care. Bye. So, guys, that was Valeria. Thank you so much for all the love. And also, if you want anyone, if you want to request for your favorite queen as well, you can all comment on the Supranational post. We will try to get your favorite online as well. So thank you so much. Please stay safe and take care of yourself. Love to everyone. I'm really sorry if we missed some of your comments, but we love you. And stay tuned to Supra Chat Live with Preet.